Hi everyone, this is Dev Sharma coming to you from Capitalize Analytics with the Power BI Chat GPT video. If you have used Power BI before, you would know that Power BI is a straightforward application to use for data analysis and data visualization. However, when it comes to leveraging data analysis expressions in our analysis, that has a bit of a learning curve to it. One option for Power BI developers is to use ChatGPT and use its artificial intelligence to write DAX codes for them. The use case that we are looking at for this video today has data on sales, customers, location, products. It also has a date table that is created using the calendar auto function which has identified the minimum and the maximum date in our data set. So it looks like the minimum date over here is in the year of 2017, and the maximum date over here is in the year of 2020. Now suppose we are tasked with calculating the revenue for the last year, which in this case would be 2019, where the quantity sold in our sales table is more than one. Now, we know that revenue would be calculated by multiplying the quantity with the price. One of the challenges that we see here is that price and quantity are in separate tables. So we'd have to do some kind of we look up in our tax equation. I have my DAX request all typed out over here. And you're gonna see that I'm very elaborative about what I want and where each column is located, the name of each column and table, and the measure that I would wanna create. When I'm gonna execute this, it is going to take a few seconds and it's gonna write this DAX code. The reason why I was so elaborative about it was because I wanted ChatGPT to exactly give me a DAX code that, that I could copy from this environment to my Power BI environment and get my expression. So I'm gonna copy this code and go back to Power BI in the report view and go to my sales table and create a new measure. And now I can just paste whatever was provided to me by Chad GPT and commit to it. And looks like this expression was successfully created. Now I can include this expression in my reporting and perhaps create a KPI card from it that gives me an exact numerical value of my revenue for loss. Conversely, it is also possible to use ChatGPT to create documentations on data analysis expression. And this is very much useful when we have to analyze complex tax codes that have little to no documentation on it. The example that I have for this use case is this DAX code. Now suppose we are tasked with developing this DAX code more and we have no documentation for it. So what we can do is copy this DAX code and go back to that GPT and just ask chat GPT to interpret this. And here it is. Looks like in this tax code, what we are doing is we are calculating the sales made by an employee with an ID of 77. And if you're gonna look back at this tax code, we are starting our calculation from the 1st of January, 2017 to the maximum date that was there in our date table. Try it for yourself and let us know if you have any questions.